name's Arthur Bigman, but they all call me Art for short. I live here in the Median community of Western Taylor County on the Median Road off of US Route 50. I've been dousing uh, uh, regularly since 1975, and I use a pendulum uh, of this size here uh, to, to douse with. It's starting to change because I'm getting the reaction I'm getting is, is just reversed from what it was last year. The polls changed once before. The reverse. And gosh darn, they're starting to reverse now because gosh darn, uh, I'm getting a reverse uh, uh, direction for what normally was a no answer. And gosh darn, it's changing me. And that, that must be the same reason and why that, uh, that when uh, there's a volcano eruption or, or uh, uh, a tremendous storm or, or uh, earthquake, that, that I, my dousing stops on me due to them, uh, them magnetic fields are being all mixed up. <laughs> that darn muscle there, my legs have pulled me where I... I, I got the answer before he, before he even had much chance of moving. That, that our poles definitely ha are changing, and that it's uh, then in the rotation, then it just reversed from what the original was. So I was starting it's funny how things happen. My mind's a complete blank when I douse. And uh, if, I, if I think this or that, then I'll get a wrong answer because your conscious mind is interfering with your subconscious mind, and your sub subconscious mind is what's controlling your instrument. And in dousing with me, when I stand up and douse, uh, the muscles in my leg pull me, and I, I drop uh, and, uh, and, and get an answer. I'm going to, uh, uh, that's all right, you don't need to move. Uh, I'm going to uh, ask you. I asked for a yes answer. And of course, it went just enough direction that I could tell that it was a yes answer. Uh, wh why it does that way for me, I don't know. And that blue piece there is a piece of chrysocolla. It come out of the copper mines. And this is a piece of uh, granite boulder there. This is a piece of red jasper, and that's a piece of Ohio plant there. Now, my buddy that helped me get uh, on the dousing real good, he was a tractor. He tracked uh, lost cattle and stuff with his boy, and then later on when he got to dousing, then he tracked uh, lost people and uh, uh, for, for the police department out there in Seattle, Washington. And, he, and we'd talk on the phone every, every week. But when, how I met him when I went to school out there in California was that uh, we were sitting on a bench about like that. I was on one end, he was on the other. He said, I never met the fellow before. He said, would you do me a favor? I said, sure. I hadn't been doing much dousing at that particular time. He said, he gave me something wrapped up in a napkin. And he, uh, he, he said, T tell me, he says, tell me one, two, or three. So I laid it down there and I passed my hand over shortly, directly. I stopped, I said, three. He said, tell me, gold, silver, or copper. So I done it again and I said, Gold, he says, unwrap it. That was the three first gold coins I ever saw in my life. Well, dowsing began, from my understanding, about 3,200 years ago. It has been in almost every civilization, particularly in Europe. Um, but there, even the Hopi Indians have rectangular types of um, labyrinths, for instance. You've seen pictures of dowsers way back China, all over the world. In Finland and Norway, the sailors used to put a labyrinth, for instance, right beside um, the ocean when they were going out to fish. And they would run around the labyrinth real fast to leave any demons behind. <laughs> but the, all kinds of people have used dowsing throughout the um, many centuries until it was banned by uh, the Catholic Church in, the, I think, the 16th or 17th century. And at that time, it went, um, pardon the pun, a little underground. Um, it got a bad rap saying that it was uh, part of uh, being with the devil or something, whereas I really think that um, to be able to douse is a God-given talent and that then you must use it ethically uh, as 
and for the good of other people. Ye fleeting charms of earth, farewell, your springs of joy are dry. My soul now seeks another. This is a labyrinth, and the labyrinth has one way in and one way out, very discernible, very easy to see. Uh, because a labyrinth, unlike the maze, which is just kind of a fool the person thing, a labyrinth has been used as a meditative uh, way to think about problems and to think out issues, to find answers. There, there are many different elements in dowsing. Um, one of them is uh, the making a labyrinth and a spiritual journey in the labyrinth. Um, another um, is, is uh, map dowsing, uh, to take a map and douse for uh, things that are lost or stolen by use of the map or, or where to locate a water well by use of the map. That's done by some dowsers. Uh, some people are interested in geopathic domes. Another really interesting thing that has across uh, many cultures, um, but particularly the Asian cultures, is the feng shui and the study of feng shui, which is the placement of architectural elements to enhance your life. So um, the, um, the dowsers have many, many interests. It's not just finding water or locating things. It also um, goes a lot deeper than that. You don't need no fancy equipment or anything mm -hmm. like that to, to, to yeah. douse with because he says it's the neuromuscular reaction in the body mm -hmm. causes your instrument to work and then it's up to you to determine what the instrument's telling yeah. you. That's where you're tingling of your hands. And then Shakespeare, by the, what is it? By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way yeah. comes. Well, that's dowsing. Yeah. So, so in other words, there's quite a few different forms of doing the same thing to come up with the same, same answers that you're looking for. If you start getting greedy and stuff like that, then, uh, then uh, uh, you're not doing uh, what you was intended to do uh, and using uh, uh, an instrument to douse with. And like she said there, she got different instruments than what I got, and it's just whatever you get used to using is what you use. And then, uh, like she was saying there, you, you ask the question in a specific way that you only get one or two answers, either yes or no. You douse for information, and you can douse for yes or no, or like if you're dousing for a water well, you'd say, uh, okay, is this a good place to douse for water? Hmm. Usually a dome falls underneath the middle of a labyrinth. That's a strange thing. So there probably is water leading to this, streams leading to that labyrinth from everywhere. Um, so then you say, okay, um, tell me how deep I would have to drill to get water. And you go, do I 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet? About 40 feet. That's pretty shallow for around here. 40 feet. Okay. Tell me how many gallons of water I'll get a minute. Okay, will I get 10 gallons a minute? 12, 15. 15 gallons a minute. Then the quintessential question. How, how toxic or good is this water? On a, on a count of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, what is the quality of this water? 1, 2, Three, four, I'm in a little trouble here, five. So there's not just locating the water, it's also finding out how deep it is and the quality of it. And that can be very, very important for people out here when the wells are going down to 150 feet and that kind of thing. But that's just the beginning of finding information. That's just the beginning. They've all moved away Said the voice of a stranger To a beautiful home By the bright Christian Well, uh, you asked a question. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, will this listeria, if it continues to grow like this, hurt this tree? You got a yes. Is that what you got? Yeah, is that yeah. what you got? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
if I cut all the little roots and branches under the tree, will that be helpful? Yes. Of course, you might run it down before the wisteria does. <laughs> Can't help that. Can't help that. I get ESS. You, you get ESS too. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, some of the different uh, dusk instruments then is uh, this is a pendulum, and with the pendulum you uh, you can uh, you got six different motions with it, and uh, you can set up a code on any one of the motions you want. And once you set the code up for yourself, then you keep that uh, uh, your rest of your life because you change it, then you're gonna be in trouble. Then these are called Spanish needles here. They have little forks. In, and the end of them, and you uh, and you just take them and put them together like that, and, and then balance them on your hands, and then you take them and uh, 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 scan the area, and then when you get what you're looking for, then the needles will, will come together like this. Uh, then th this then is known as as a wire rod, uh, and uh, you can make these out of anything, peach limb or whatever, and. And then you take an aggressor like this, and then you scan the area here. And then if I walk over towards you, then uh, then where you're standing, then it'll it'll dip like that to indicate that there's water there. But then if there's, if, if there's any binoculars radiation, then I'll, I'll make a door. Uh, then the rod will, will, will go straight up like this to show that you're over uh, obnoxious radiation. And this instrument here is called a doer bug. What it is is a little weight on the end, a flexible rod. You can make them out of fiberglass fishing rods, and then you can get uh, different a answers uh, about the different motions. For me, uh, for yes, is this way here? Gosh darn it, man! It really, really pulls when I ask. And, 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 and no, this way. And you can use use this then for to douse the map with, also as well as the other. And what you do then is. Uh, you go go over the map like this when you get to reading, and it'll do this way, and then you mark a line, then you go to the other side, and then you mark a line where the lines cross, and that's the place you're looking for. So uh, that's, uh, and these are called doodle bugs, and then uh, then these are your, your your angle rods here, and then you hold hold them this way, and then uh, you I'll make, I'll make them work, then they cross, and where, which where, where your uh, the line of sight where you want to go to. And then this then is your original Spanish dip needle here. This instrument here was what the Spanish used. Uh, and to use this instrument, you have to go east to the west. You can't go north to south because you have to cross the uh, radiation of uh, your magnetic fields. And magnetic fields then, when they dip in the earth, they cause the needle uh, to, to dip down. And then when you use the flat ways, then it's the compass. And then the reason why they had this on the bottom and hole in it, because after they rode horseback with this, then they would get off the horseback and put their pendulum on this and find the edges in of the mineral bodies with the pendulum. So they, uh, uh, so they use uh, uh, different different means for it. So, uh, and uh, then, uh, like I was saying there, my uh, friend in the West there, he finally, they would just use his eyes, and his eyes start blinking real fast, and uh, uh, would tell him where, where the stuff was he was looking for. And then my my other friend, then he just uses the palm of his hand. And then the Indians, uh, back in their time period, they get on top of the mountain, and they'd put their hands up like this, and they would be receiving the information they needed, the chief needed, so he could sustain his tribe. Now, if you're out in the in the boonies and kind of tarred, sit down on a rock or sit down, and turn your hands up and face the sun, and you can feel that energy coming into the palm of your hands. You can sit there for a little bit, and you can re rejuvenate yourself. To, to find out how good of a dowser are, you, it takes a little bit of practice, but you start to put your hands this far apart and gradually uh, uh, bring them together until you start and feel that heat sensation in the hand. The farther apart you are, the more sensitive you are, but it may take a time or two to be able to, able to feel that sensation. And then you can also, Use your hand to, to go over a map and find a location. But just because uh, you find a location on on the map there, that don't mean when you get out in the field that's exactly where it is. 
uh, but that'll put you in the ball field to get out there, and then it's up to you then to uh, to uh, use your instruments then uh, to uh, to find the location you're looking for. How can we douse, and what you know? Why are we able to douse? And that's, that's a really interesting question. How how connected are you to the earth? How are you connected to everything around you? How connected are you to the trees? You know, how connected are you to nature? So if you believe in the interconnectedness, of course we can find out these things when we're connected in a positive way. If you're out in the field with a bunch of people and uh, you start dousing, if there's any negative thoughts uh, among that group, then you're not gonna to get to find the answers. That's the reason why these guys have, have failed in demonstration on TV because of too, too much negative thought there and uh, will not let him uh, get the true answers. Go on, Pop, I can't doubt you in, in here. <laughs> okay, let's start over again, okay. There's several factors. There's a lot of people doing dowsing, but they don't always tell people they're doing dowsing. Uh, there are people who drill wells. And you'll almost always find that a person who's drilling wells for a living is a dowser. And they will douse for you, or if you ask them. Or they may douse and not let you know that they're dowsing. Then there are the people who work in the electric company and the gas lines. And in locating minerals, many of them are dowsers. And one of, one of the members that we used to have here in the dowsing group and that was his profession. He had a particular instrument that he used that he felt helped him locate um, oil. And he was hired by the um, oil exploration companies. And that was his job. And he was a West Virginian. So they're, they're here. They don't often want to be in groups. They don't often want to profess that they're dowsers. Now, everybody can douse, but uh, on some people, it takes quite a while to be able to, to get the instrument to work because they, they're doubtful. You, and uh, if you're asking questions, you, you don't want to ask the same question twice because it does, that means you're doubting your answers. So you've got to be positive in, in all respects, all the way around, and uh, then you get to the true answers from dousing. If we have an earthquake, a volcanic eruption or something, the magnetic field in the earth disturbs me, so I'm dead. And how I found out that uh, uh, that that stopped me from dousing at them particular times. I was in the west uh, uh, dousing for a ore body out there, and I got a good reading. I got out of the truck and went to where take my next reading. Gosh darn, he quit. I said, Gosh darn, what happened? What's wrong? I can't douse. So when I got back to the trailer park that night, my wife said, Did you hear about the earthquake over in Arizona? I said, No. I said, What time was it? She told me what time it was, and that's when, t when I went down. So from then on, I know that if there's a, a bad eruption someplace, then uh, my dousing is done for that particular time period. So. Our magnetic fields in this earth is changing. So I have to remember that now. Gosh darn luck anyhow. Because I'm getting a clockwise rotation below my belt now and counterclockwise above, which was just reverse from what I originally had. And the paper was right saying that, that our fields were, were gradually changing. Yep, gosh, started in hell. A long, long time ago that, uh, that the they, uh, poles reversed. So I don't know what's going on. So, so, something, so, something sure, uh, sure, gosh, because I got, I got to watch now and be sure to, because I'll have to ask uh, to give me, yes, answer. And that's a yes now in place of a counterclockwise rotation. So that's the reason, reason why I always, uh, whenever I get ready to douse, I always uh, ask you, uh, am I ready to douse because of, of them uh, field radiations that caused me to not douse at all.